At least 91 people have been killed and many others severely burned in a fire that followed a fuel tanker explosion in Sierra Leone's capital. So the blast happened after the tanker collided with another vehicle at a busy junction in the Wellington area of Freetown. The vice president has visited a hospital treating the injured. The number of dead is expected to rise. Omar Fofana is a journalist. He's joining us from Freetown in Sierra Leone, where I believe you're at the scene of that accident. Omar, tell us what you're seeing. Yes, please. I'm right at the scene. You can see just behind me here the wreckage of uh, the tanker um, into which um, a truck rammed last night. And uh, we, the latest we have is that 97 charred bodies have been received at the central mortuary. That is according to the mortuary officials. And there are more than 100 people who are injured and admitted at various hospitals across the country. The health area has been stretched with hospitals asking for everything that they need to be able to respond. Most of those more than 100 patients who are currently admitted are said by the country's deputy health minister, Dr. Amara Jambai, to be critically injured. And it's a matter of time, he says, before the death toll rises. So, As you can see here right now, right. there are lots of people in the background here people expressing concern and some even wailing. Tell us more about how this actually happened. Well, it was uh, late yesterday evening, um, after rush hour, people heading home, must have been around 8 p.m. local time, when uh, this tanker right behind me here, or the child remains thereof, was rammed into by the truck, which you can also see just by the, the burnt out uh, uh, tanker there. So once it happened, uh, there was some petrol leakage from the tank, and then, some motorbike, commercial motorbike taxi riders came and they were started scooping the fuel from the truck, from the tanker rather. And then there was a traffic hold up in this area so that when there was a first, a first ball that I mean, more or less came out shortly afterwards, we don't yet know what caused the explosion. But once it happened, then those who were trapped in the traffic in their vehicles, the explosion hit them, the fireballs more or less snowballed the whole area. And many of those who died or there were burns were burnt inside their vehicles. And a lot of others who died were the motorbike taxi riders who were scooping fuel from the tanker. We expect, or there are reports, that there will be some sort of emergency response meeting later uh, chaired by the country's vice president. What do we expect to happen there? Yes, the country's president is at the climate summit in Scotland, so the vice president is acting, and there is an emergency response meeting, which is scheduled to happen any moment from now, which will be chaired by that vice president. They're planning to prepare their response. I mean, the response so far has been very basic. You can see the police officers, the army, the prison services, the fire force are all here, organized by the office for, for the, the, the response agency. But their response has been very basic. Those who responded last night to collect the bodies and send them to the mortuary this morning had to use basic plastic bags to cover their hands with. That is how far things have been stretched here in terms of the response. But we don't know what they will come up with once that emergency meeting happens later today. Okay, thank you so much for the time being. Omar Fofana for giving us an update from Sierra Leone.